this is a video tour of 633 New York. Um, I'm starting kind of off this back porch. The reason being that it looks like all the parking for this property is really just kind of this gravel area that comes off the back. And so this is what they're using as their main entrance. You can see that it's got a metal sort of cover over it, but it's definitely bent up paint peeling here. It's a composition roof and the roof looks okay. Um, but I, you know, obviously lots of work that's going to need to be done here. So peeling paint and you can see they've used some spray foam. It looks like to fill up some gaps. Coming around the back side of this property, it's in a really weird location because it's really surrounded by all commercial property and you are right next to the train station. So they put some gutter extenders on the property, but you can see, you know, some of the siding here is starting to crack apart. I mean, it looks almost like plaster the way that it's cracking. I don't know that that's what it is or think that that's what it is necessarily. You can see that they've replaced a board there. Some wood rot on that corner. Uh, they had some cement that they put around the outside of this foundation to kind of cover up the blocks, but you can see that it's going away now. And again, just more, you know, spray foam insulation between stuff to fill up gaps. So window for this basement looks like it's cracked here in this bottom corner. So it's probably letting quite a bit of moisture and things into the property. Um, interesting. Okay, so we're coming around the side of the building. And just for reference, I'm on the north side of the property right now. And I'm looking at what is the train station there so this looks like access to the basement at one point and the bricks are just kind of falling out of it there okay so i think they're having us enter through that side because this porch is very suspect i mean you can see how bad it's leaning these cinder blocks are breaking out this is you know completely started to rip out of this other board here this is all rotted and coming apart and hollow too. Um, and then you can see they're even supporting this front porch with these beams. So all this cinder block that's here is falling out from underneath this porch. So I would say this porch is probably not at all safe to stand on. Um, this is the view from the front porch. Pretty steep incline in the yard and retaining wall there towards the front. But this is the view that you have from the front with the train station right there. Okay, so we're going to walk back through or back around to that area so you can see it. But again, just lots of spaces where the boards are coming apart and paint is peeling. Uh, you know, foundationally, there's definitely some stuff going on. There's some lean. You can see... I don't know if I can, you can see it well on the video, but there's a pretty good lean here to this foundation wall. Like it's the inside, the underside here is leaned in quite a bit. Okay. So you come into the back of the property here and what looks to be a sort of like bonus room potentially um carpet is thinner and could definitely use some replacement you can see that they painted paneling and all of these windows those are stickers on the windows there uh, but they are wood cased single pane windows in this room you've got a drop ceiling and throughout the ceiling there's some damage um, it almost looks like it could have been a critter, maybe. I mean, you can see kind of the way it's dotted damage, which is interesting. Okay, so backside here, and we're going to step up a little bit, and then this turns into the kitchen. So here is the kitchen space. And this is where it starts to get a little bit more intense. Um, you can see this whole section of the ceiling is just flat out missing. Like they've cut it apart. You can see all the wires up there and just lots of damage to this ceiling. 
This is some microbial, what appears to be microbial growth on this cabinet, um, which I'm not really surprised by because I mean, all of this, the way that the paint and stuff is peeling off, this looks like a large amount of water damage, you know, like water got in there and made that bubble up and peel off. So it seems that there is definitely a lot of water that came in through this area at some point. Um, big older cabinet here, which is kind of interesting. But again, I mean, just paneling that wasn't even like really finished. It's like they just started to put it up that direction. So continuing to walk through straight and just for reference, I'm at the very east side of the house now and we're in what would be considered the living room space. So same wood paneling throughout the property. Looks like original hardwood floors. Uh, there is definitely a lean to the floor, and it really comes down this direction towards the wall. So drop ceiling's got a little bit of a bulge going on here, and some more water damage there. The trim pieces on all of, you know, the doors and going into the rooms looks pretty well maintained overall, which is nice. That character is still there. Um, okay. So now we're, uh, this is just like another maybe bonus room. This is really interesting. So you can see that they've got the paneling in parts of it, some peeling off going there, but then there's like this cork board type stuff. Um, and then it looks like this is all press board. So all of this on the ceiling, um, more water damage there. It's just like press board that's screwed into the walls instead of doing some traditional sort of paint wallpaper situation. So that's really, um, as you can tell, you know, it's got a pretty unfinished sort of look to it. Um, okay, so vent there, got the cover. And then little door frame, door is missing. And then walking down this hallway, same drop ceiling here. And again, you've got, you know, just a bolt that's created sort of a opening there in the ceiling. And this is the bathroom. So you can see you've got just a standing tub here in the bathroom and it does have a shower on it. Um, again, just lots of peeling paint around the windows. Um, and just some rust on the ceiling in here. Uh, they painted this trim white, but you can see they only kind of did one layer, so it still needs to be addressed a little bit. Okay, so coming in this bathroom, and just for reference, directly to my left is that living room space that we walked through. So basically, we've just made it a circle in this area. We walked through the living room around here and down this hallway. Okay. So, going into this bedroom, again, more of the press board just kind of nailed in random places, and it's falling down a lot. I mean, you can see where it's just coming out of the ceiling. Um, there's definitely been more water. Parts of the ceiling are falling in in several places. Um, exposed piping going on here and what would have been the closet. Okay, so this is the live or the bedroom, and then this little door with the lock on it leads us into an attic space. And it doesn't appear that any of the electricity is on, so I'm gonna pause this and turn on my flashlight and pick it back up in the attic. <laughs> 